in this video, we're going to connect the Garmin Dakota 20 to the Garmin Tempe temperature sensor. Before connecting, you're going to need to update your Dakota 20 to the latest firmware version. You're also going to need to install the battery on the Garmin Tempe if you haven't already. Let's install the battery. To do so, we're going to take this mounting adapter off. This is to go to your shoelaces or to your backpack. On the bottom, we've got this arrow here and then there's a dot at the beginning of the arrow and then a dot at the end of the arrow there. So we're going to line up the dot on the battery cover with this first dot and then we're going to turn it so it matches up with the dot on the edge here. Okay, so those two dots are lined up. We're going to push the battery cover in, get our nail on the edge here, and then rotate it. All right, so battery cover's on, and you'll see the two end dots here are matching. Now we can pair the device with our Garmin GPS. To set up the Tempe with the Garmin Dakota, we need to go into the setup menu. So we're going to look for it in our main menu. It's right here, setup. And then we're going to look for the menu option called Ant Sensor. There's our Ant Sensor option, so we'll select it. And then we could hook up three different Ant Sensors, either a heart rate, a cadence, or the Tempe. So let's go into the Tempe. So we could turn it on. If we're searching for a new device, if we replace our Tempe, we're going to go search for new. So we'll just go on for this video. It's going to take uh, a few seconds to a minute to find the Tempe and do the proper connection. Okay, now we're connected to the Tempe. We need to set up one of our data fields on one of our GPS pages to show the temperature. So we could go back into our main menu. In the main menu, we can go into Trip Computer, uh, the mapping screen, whichever one we have data fields set up on we want to change. So we'll go into here. Let's change the top left corner, speed. So we're going to change speed to temperature. So we're going to scroll down in the list until we find temperature, which is right here. And it's showing up as 77 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want it to be in Celsius, all you need to do is go into your main setup again, look for units. And then change the temperature to Celsius. And then go back to the trip computer screen and now we're displaying 25 degrees Celsius. That's how you connect the Garmin Tempe to a Garmin Dakota 20.